Previously on Drake Paragon. Can I ask you about the whaling industry and the history of Greenland and where it's at today? I think uh, the whaling industry began uh, in the 1750s. Uh, 1500, uh, where European ships come to Greenland shore and mm -hmm. get the will, and they use the fat mm -hmm. to uh, the oil, yeah. uh, lamp oil. There's a long history of will industry in Greenland, and if you in the coast, you can see buildings that have been used to production of the oil. Native Greenlanders eat the meat, the fat then became to oil, and this exported to Europe. But now um, we have not allowed to sell the uh, whale meat out of country. Mm -hmm. So all what we self uh, kill mm -hmm. of whale, we eat. Mm -hmm. It's only for uh, our use. use we yeah. eat the cats away and mm -hmm. we, we eat it. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yeah. That industry has always been here in Greenland. Greenlanders have always been hunting whales. Mm. Have you ever had any issues with Greenpeace or any other organizations or countries that don't like whaling? Or yeah, uh, we have a seal skin in industry before. Oh, seals, yeah. Skin yeah. Mm -hmm. industry, and we export a lot of it. Mm. But then uh, Bridget Badat, she made uh, a poster with a baby seal and her that killed our export of seal skin. Now I think we have 300,000 pieces of seal skin in Kakorto. If you go into Kakorto, visit it and you can see a big oh. amount of seal skin. Our national clothing, mm -hmm. uh, of course my fiancé has seal trousers yeah. and canics. Mm -hmm. But we don't use it for big clothing, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. And for example, yeah. was, isn't it seal skin? That's Why do I have to import it yeah. from Asia or whatever? Why is it sales skin? Our Greenlandic friend Lars met us in the morning to help us move Paragon across the harbor to the fuel dock. So you give me money? No, no. You had your fellow first and then Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, all right. While we were fueling, our friend from the shipyard came by to see the part of the boom that he had welded back together for us. I don't know how we could have fixed that without his help, and we were very grateful. Yeah, man. We'll be around. See you later. So it's 55 nautical miles to get to Narnatalik. Oh, that's good. The hot springs place is right on the way. I'm ready to play in chess. Are you sure? I'm ready. Yeah. Let's do some revenge. I have been meditating. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you too? <laughs>
black eye in the middle, it means that there's a funeral. Okay. Or somebody died. Maybe. Yeah. So have you ever uh, fueled up to the sound of funeral bells before, Mo? We did it! <laughs> Fantastic! We're not leaving the hot dog until I win as many games as he has won. I've lost what is wintering in Greenland like? Is it difficult? I haven't played chess like maybe 10 years. <laughs> oh, a little salt in the wounds, perhaps? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After a few games of chess, Lars offered to take us on a little guided walk around town. So what is your plan for us? Well, I'm going to show you things from my ancestors. Okay. Back in 1775, they need to have a place here in South Greenland where they can sell seal skin and whale. Where they could sell it. Yeah. And they chose this place. Yes. People from smaller settlements, they sell to here to sell their skin. During the time, it got bigger and bigger. And bigger. Mm -hmm. Now there's about 3,000 people here in Carlton. Oh. It's the biggest city, isn't it? In yeah, it is. it is the biggest city or town here in South Greenland. Uh -huh. And there's this factory over there, Great Greenland. Yeah, what is that? That's the place where they do a lot of the reproducing seal skins huh. and muscus ox and reindeer sheep and sometimes polar bear skin. Normally they send a lot of uh, the skin from smaller settlements from North Greenland and smaller towns and some of it they are from the East Greenland. They are Around 1,500 fishermen that sells sell skins. Back in the early 2000s, it was going really good. Up to 100,000 sell skins each year. There's a lot of process they need to do. Remove the, uh, the fat and the blood from it, and they wash it and dry it, sort it in different qualities. And sometimes they uh, color it. They uh, make some jackets and uh, loafers. Gloves. Gloves, yes. And different kind of things. Wow. Wow, so seal skins from all over Greenland, they all go there. Yeah. And then they get sold in stores? Yeah, in stores, yes. For example, here and new. And uh, some of the skin, maybe they can sell it to China. There's, of course, there's some influence from Greenpeace. Mm -hmm. Greenpeace doesn't like seal hunting. No, they don't. Yeah. They don't. I guess they're not too popular in Greenland. Well, it is not that popular. Have you ever met anyone from Greenpeace, or have they come no, here and visited? No. They have been in Nuuk, for example, last year, to have a debate with the local people. Mm -hmm. so they are not that popular here. Mm -hmm. So let's go to the uh, museum. Okay, yeah. great. We're going to the museum in Karata. Is this fountain special? Yes. But this fountain is from 1932. Normally there's a lot of people when they are in really nice weather. Yeah, hanging out right around the fountain. And uh, if you are looking at the old buildings here, it's from the 1850s. And the oldest building is the museum. It's from 1804. 1804? Yeah. Is it a 
right there. What's this? That's the uh, woven knife. Oh, what did they use it for? for t- to remove all the fat from the seal skin. Huh. Yes. And that's the pushup. It's the lamp. Lamp? Yeah. Oil lamp? Yeah, oil lamp. Wow. The oil from whale. And that's how they cooked meal. With oil from yeah, the whales? Just warm it up. Yes. Huh. And the woman knife. It's from East Greenland. East Greenland? Yes. Oh. And the normal is from West Greenland. Huh. Before that, they've been using stone. Stone. Yes. Original kayak. What are they made of? Wood from, for example, Siberia. That has been being at the sea. The skin is made of seal. That seal skin? Yeah. The graves here. When they have been using it a lot, they have to change the skin as well. So the seal skin doesn't last forever on no. the traditional kayaks. There's a lot of equipment. When you are thinking about the back to the time, it's high tech equipment. Mm-hmm. High tech. Yeah, high yeah. tech. That's one of the reasons they have been surviving. Here in Greenland. Mm-hmm. Here, over there, yeah. Umiak. Umiak. Yeah, the woman's boat. Woman's boat? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some of it they can be really big and uh, you can use it as a tent in the summertime. Oh, as when a you're... tent? Yes. Yeah. Oh. You can look over Oh, yeah, that's yeah. a tent. Yeah. It's a boat that they use as a tent. Yes. Mainly the women stay alone, they hunt her. And here we have traditional national suit, Greenlandic national clothes. And they still wear these clothes today on formal occasions. Yeah, wedding and uh, confirmation. Mm. And uh, the first day of school, mm. and in Christmas, for example. Some of it is made of seal skin. Yeah. To make this national dress can take up to one year or two years. For example, this, the pearls, there can be one person who can only make the pearls, and another woman can be specialized to make the, uh, the boxes, for example, and the uh, wow. things. It is not only one woman who makes this, and it can cost up to 30,000. Because it's so labor intensive to make these clothes. Yeah, but sometimes you can get it from your mother. Yeah. To give it to mother to your daughter. Well, there's some tupilak. Tupilak? Yes. In Greenlandic religion, a tupilak was an avenging monster made by a witch. It would be placed into the sea to seek and destroy a specific enemy. These are Tupilak. Yes. The magic world. The magic witchcraft world in Greenland. Made of birds. They're beautiful. And scary looking. Scary monster. Native seal skins. Are they sealed? Are they all this sealed? one, this one, uh, mm-hmm. seal skin. That one's sealed. Yes. But the others, yeah, not. these two, what is that from? Goat skin. Goat? Ah. You're sitting on a seal skin bench. Is it smooth? Yes. You can use it when you want to go to mountain in the winter time. You can just use it as a sled. I've been trying it when I was a kid. Using seal skin as a sled to go down the snow mountain. Yeah. <laughs> it's fun. 
I never knew you could do that with a seal skin. It's fun when you uh, keep it. <laughs> we are here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're going to throw this. Uh, yes. And Christian son. Yes. You can ask a sword. Uh huh. You will be. Thank you. Just like that. It's the same road mm -hmm. that the Vikings took. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're going the, to say after, yeah. Mm -hmm. the Vikings didn't have chart plotters, radar, GPS, and the rest. They did it a whole different way. Wonderful. Yeah? Are yeah. we ready to go? What is your That was cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, do you think you'll live in Karakas for the rest of your life? We'll see. Time will show. Yeah. You're not yeah. sure? Maybe. Maybe. I never know. You never know. Mm. But I'm going to study at the uh, business school. Mm -hmm. I will start on Monday. Are there many students in that program? Uh, we will be 16 persons yeah. in one class. So, we'll be out, see? Can we be out? I'm going to be there. I'll tell you now. Wow. Yes. Arctic char. Mm -hmm. Arctic char for dinner tonight. We just got it downstairs. Yeah. yeah. I better nice. get fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Will they eat it? Maybe. Maybe. You can eat it. Uh, Is it safe to eat the fish that you catch here in Karaktak? Yeah. Arctic char or trout, Arctic trout and salmon. Yeah. yeah. There's different places yeah. where you can catch. I've heard from so many people that Greenland is a mecca for hunting for so many different kinds of game from seal, reindeer, musk ox, yeah. fly fishing. Fly fishing. Yeah. And there's a lot of places where you can go hiking and mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's a yeah. nature paradise. It's yeah. a... We are not in charge here in uh, in Greenland. Uh, the law of the nature mm. that's the number one rule mm. and law. The weather can change suddenly. In no time like it can start to be windy. Storm weather suddenly. All of a yeah. sudden storm weather. Yeah. So you have to be careful when you're sailing, when you are walking. Yeah. It is very normal here in South Greenland that we tell some people we know, okay I'm going to this direction, I'm going to be there and mm. from this time to this time. Yeah. You tell people where you're going, yeah. so if you don't come back, they have some idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For safety, mm -hmm. yeah, we do that. Thank you so much for taking the time to show us around. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. As you can see, I'm an educated Arctic tourist guide. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the church was built back in 1973. Huh. And uh, if you look at it, it's white. And yeah. the, the name of the uh, this, this, this town, Karaktak, it means white. Oh, really? Karaktak means white? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. huh. Here we have some art, stone art. Wow. And this guy, his name is Kasasuk. Kasasuk. Yes. Carved right out of the rock itself. As a kid, we know a lot of, about this guy. They didn't accept him like a normal person. They looked down to him because he's small. Huh. They didn't treat him well. One day he decided to go to the nature to meet the spirit of strength. He met the, uh, the spirit and uh, after some time then he became very strong and he decided to make Revenge. He decided to kill the other people in the settlement by just give them a hug and kill them. And the reason why we know this story that means you should know about this kind of people who treat other people badly. We shouldn't do that. Aye. That's why we have this story in kindergarten at school you should be good to other people mm. or else you'll make them angry you'll make them want to seek revenge someday and then they'll get strong and come back and 
give you a hug, <laughs> and that'll be the end of your life. Wow. What a great story. Yeah. A, a um, great... Almost everyone knows this story. Uh -huh. Here I have the uh, memorial to the last people at the sea. The last people at the sea, right next to the church in Karatak. <laughs> Hello, how are you, Greenlandic dog? It is not a Greenlandic dog. No. no. You have to go to a little bit north of Manitou if yeah. you want to see the real Greenlandic dog. Oh, yeah. We don't have any Greenlandic dogs here. Somewhere. No. They're all in the north. It's illegal to bring a, a non like native dog north of the Arctic Circle like a sled dog so that they wouldn't mix in, um, mix in and, and dilute the breed and weaken it because yeah. they use them. Yeah. yeah. So this harbor here in Karaktak, even in the coldest of the winter time, it's still operating as a harbor. Yeah. It's not all frozen. But sometimes when when they winter are really cold, they can be like small places where there are ice. Frozen. frozen. Do they take all of those small power boats out of the water in the winter time? Huh. So in the winter time, people don't have access to their boats. So does the ferry still operate in the winter time? Yeah, mm. Must be cold ride. <laughs> Minus 15 degrees. Jeez. Time. Wow. So tomorrow there's a football Sorry. game. Sorry. Sorry. Football. The national tournament. And uh, where is that going to be? How do we get there? It's over there. Over there. If you, if you can see the mountain over there, yes. we'll be close to the mountain. How many people do you think will be there to watch the game? It depends on the weather. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take a last look, kids. We're not leaving for another two days. Yeah, I know. Well, I know, but we probably won't come back to this very spot again, so... With, uh, oh, here they are. They're getting ready for the game tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> They're from East Greenland. I can hear it. You could hear it in their voices. Yeah. So uh, they have a special dialect. I can, I can hear it. Did they come here by boat or no, by helicopter? By plane. By plane, yes. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the local yeah. uh, supermarket. Aye. We call it Pacific. Pacific. And Pacific. Hello. Woo! Every time we've come to the grocery store, I have no idea. Muskox. On sale. Steaks. Steaks. Oh, mm -hmm. Well, great. This is really exciting. Oh, what's what's that? Bacon. bacon. I've never seen bacon like that. Smoked Smoke bacon. bacon. Are those cow or yeah. cow? Yeah. So imported from from Denmark. Yes. Really? Whale burgers. Whale burgers. Whale burgers. Just like burgers? Yes. It's really good. Ground whale burgers. 70 crowns. 70 crowns. It's like, it looks like, is it ground? Looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Here. What do you put on your whale burger? What do you usually do? Some salad. Some salad. Onions. Onions. Uh, ketchup. Onions and ketchup. Yeah. They are really good, these. Those. I prefer to have. But we can try it. Yeah. What's that? Is that fries? Sticks. Sticks. 
made of potato? Yes. Oh. All of them. They are made They're of all potato. Yeah. But these are really good. Yes. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> this is great. I can't wait to try it. You're going to have whale meat for the first time in your life tonight, huh? On the Drake Paragon channel. It's a good thing. Yeah, it's good. Thawed out whale hamburgers. Salad, and we're baking french fries. What kind of whale is that again? It's a uh, Chicago pig. Excited. I am excited. I have a Greenlandic Danish dictionary on my phone. Oh yeah. In Danish they call it Wally then. And I have a Danish English wow. dictionary as well. I just found the so correct name. So of you it. had to go from Greenlandic to Danish and Danish to English. English. Yes, with Thank my you. phone by wow. using my smartphone. And I I just figured out if it is a minky whale. Minky. Smells good. Well I hope it's nice. I hope it's tasty. So if you guys want to give me the place. And there it is. Minky whale burger. Mm. I don't know the tunnel changed. Yeah. I really love it. What do you think, Will? It almost reminds me of duck. Duck? Really? Maybe because of the fat. These buns are massive. <laughs> Tastes like the ocean. There are people. Greenpeace has launched power boats and are heading towards us right now. Uh, yeah, I, uh, no wonder. Next on Drake Paragon.